Time for the second video of the restored Sheridan Court. This unit is a one bedroom with a big dining room. It's about 750, 800 square feet. All the way across the room, oops, I can't turn that, sorry. All the way across the room there you see the living room with the Juliet balcony. I'm standing in the dining room. I'm coming back out, check out the features. Once again, we talked about it in the last video, these talking tubes. So downstairs you come in and you get stopped by the security door. And so your friend then rings a buzzer, which in this apartment is right there. And then you talk to them through the talking tube, and when you're ready for them to come in, there, do you hear it? You buzz them up. It does have a little coat closet here in your foyer. Large living room. I have wondered for the longest time what these are. Why in the world are there double glass doors in the living rooms? We finally found some plans, like literally two days ago, yesterday, when we were moving the, uh, when we were moving the, the, the offices, there was a short Murphy beds in these. And why they did them with glass doors, I don't know. All right, here's your view. Right down there when Mr. Wonderful comes over to serenade you with his mariachi bar uh, band. There's your view. And these windows can actually be opened all the way up. There, look at that. There's your large living room. Beautiful hardwood floors, restored original hardwood floors. Another closet. Coming down a little hallway. This bathroom we left the original tile, and you can see down below, and then we added a modern accent band and went ahead and took it to the ceiling, put in the curved shower rod. Uh, the, uh, the shower handle there, we just need to make sure it's pinned up to the top. That's still coming. But uh, when this building was first built, there was only uh, tubs, no showers. Uh, the sink is actually modern. We just got one that looks like it was built, put in here in 1926. Can you imagine not being able to take a shower? That'd be terrible. A uh, large bedroom. I'm going to move around a little bit here and try to get everything. All right, so we're out of that wing. These are really big apartments. These places were laid out in 1926 pre-air conditioning. So no matter how goofy the floor plan is, they all have opposite side windows that go back into the back courtyard. All right, heading into the kitchen. Got a modern full-size refrigerator. Of course, the restored sinks. And if you look right here, let's see if I can do this. See how there's this one, this one, and this one? When the building was first built, they didn't know if the water supply for the city could handle it. So the center was originally hooked up to river water, and it was gray water, and you would wash your dishes with river water. The same for uh, the toilet. You would flush your toilet with river water. I'm sure they smelled awesome. Uh, stove, countertop. Of course, you got this back door that goes out to the hidden back courtyard that virtually nobody knows about. Here's your staircase so that you can do all of your West Side Story reenactments. Maria! Tony! Back courtyard, and laundry is literally right below us. All right, I'm going to walk back in. Once again in the kitchen. I'm sorry, I think I did a worse job this time than last time, but I'll figure it out at some point. Looking back through the space, from the dining room into the living room, this has been apartment C2 in Sheridan Court. Thank you.